Hi, it's a crafty chick. Thanks so much for joining me. This is my Thursday night series that will air every week, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you can join me for our little crafting and creating adventure. Right now, I want to show you this latest paper pumpkin kit that came in. I'm so excited. So here we have this month's paper pumpkin. It is called Change is Beautiful. And you will receive this box every month in your mailbox. It will come all wrapped up in tissue paper and it comes shrink wrapped, but I did open it already. And you always have some advertisement on top showing you what's coming next month. So you can get a little sneak peek and decide if you want that one for next month or not. Now the paper pumpkin is what we call an all-inclusive kit. It has everything you need. It comes with ink, adhesives, and in this case, this month, there are Stampin' Dimensionals, which are little like dimensional dots. And if you're making cards, it comes with envelopes and cards, and it always coordinates with all of the embellishments in the box, as well as other Stampin' Up! products that you can find in the catalog. So that's nice. You can always use things that are in your own stash to embellish or add to it. And you don't have to make cards either. You could use this for uh, scrapbooking, whatever you want. And this you have every month. You get a stamp set. They're a little hard to see on camera because they are clear, but this one is a little small and sometimes you get large ones. Every month is different, but since these cards are small, you don't really need large stamps. In your very first paper pumpkin box, you're going to get your own block. So don't worry if you've never stamped before and you have no stamping block because you will get one. That way you'll have it every month. And no matter how big the stamps are, they'll never be bigger than this block. So that's all you'll need to get started. There's also some bling usually thrown in or ribbons. And so we have little white pearls this month. And we have these nice die cuts. And these are always so easy to just pop out. I'm not the most careful person. And if I can do it without ripping them, anybody can. So these are adorable. We have some flowers and butterflies this month. So a nice spring theme. Ooh, and there are, oh, isn't this nice? Here's some more cards. And it looks like these pop out. So we'll have to see how that's going to work. Isn't that pretty? Now in this particular kit, let's find the instructions, which are usually on top. And since I opened this already, I probably lost them. The instructions are usually on the top. Sorry about that. You get full color instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. Now, since this is distributed to different countries around the world, they have limited the instructions to mostly pictures so that you can see what's going on. And then it's easy for anyone in any language to follow along. On the back, it explains what's in the kit and the coordinating colors, as well as alternative projects. And you can also Join the Facebook group for Paper Pumpkin fans. It is a public group open to everyone. And you can see what other people are creating and post your own creations as well. It's a great place to get really good ideas and to meet fun people who also love to craft. This kit says it contains supplies for nine cards and nine envelopes. The coordinating colors are balmy blue, Basic Black, Bermuda Bay, Crushed Curry, 
Evening Evergreen, Granny Apple Green, and Melon Mambo. And this month's ink spot is Melon Mambo. So I'm going to put some of this aside and we'll go through and make a card together so you can see just how easy it is. Now I have not made any of these yet, I just opened it. So let's see if we can figure this out together. Okay, so the instructions want us to get out this card. So let's look for that one. Find the card that matches. Here it is. So that card matches, and then the inside looks like this. So we have the right card. Next, we need our stamp and our stamping pad. And it says, let's see, what did they stamp in there? I believe in you. Okay, so on our stamp pad, we'll find the stamp that says, I believe in you. There it is. And you just place it on the block. See, it just sticks all by itself. It's made to stick, so you don't need glue or tape or anything for it to stick. And by the way, everything you need to make your project is in here, except for scissors. And also some people like to have a bone folder on hand in case they need to press their creases on their cards. But pretty much scissors is all you're going to need to bring. So you could just throw a pair of scissors into this box and take this box with you wherever you're going. On vacation, in the car, in your RV. If you're a camper and you get stuck in the rain, you know how boring it is to be in the RV in the rain. So this will help give you and maybe if you have kids, hours of fun. Okay, so all you have to do is press. I should have taken this off all the way. You can take this cover off all the way. There we go. Just lightly press. And... It wants us to do it right here, so I'm going to have this upside down so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put that right in the middle. I believe in you. Easy peasy. I just touched it, and it looks beautiful. Okay, now on the bottom here we have some little doodads. Anything that's not a clearly defined animal or word or something, I just call it a doodad. And in this it looks like, I don't know if these are hearts or leaves or what. It looks, oh, well, they might be hearts. So you just tap, tap, tap. Make sure that you have full coverage. It's pretty easy to see. And they want us to put it down here. There you go. It looks just like theirs. And I, I did that part upside down, but you know what? No one's going to know. I'll just do that. Now it looks like I meant to do that. See how easy it is to cover your mistakes? Of course, we, it doesn't have to be a mistake. Nobody knew how I was going to do it. The recipient doesn't know what the directions say. Okay, now I'm going to put the cover on this to keep it nice and moist. And the next thing we want to do is find these little banners. So we have a lot of small pieces in here that we can add to the cards. And here's that little banner. It says fold it first, but that's okay. I'm sorry, I skipped two. So it says fold it and then fold it again. Is that it? Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, now we're going to get that little banner, and it says, Beautiful things take time. That's sweet. And I love these colors, too. These are such wonderful spring colors. So I uh, will get another stamp. And I'm just wiping these off on a microfiber cloth 
So you don't need any special cleansers or anything. You can just wash them under the water when you're done with your project completely. And in the meantime, just wipe them on a chamois or a cloth or something just to get the excess uh, ink off your stamps. And they will stain, and that's perfectly normal. Well-loved stamps are always stained. So don't worry about that. Here's our stamp. Beautiful things take time. And we'll put it on our block like so. And don't worry if it's not straight because you can change it so it is straight. So if I put it on like that crooked, all you have to do is turn your block and straighten it out. You have full control. Okay, so let's tap, tap, tap this across. Make sure we have red and everything. I call it full coverage. And I need to make sure I'm doing it the right way because it's upside down. Yes, okay. And then just press. And there you go. Beautiful things take time. Off my stamp. Now, how are we going to get this to stick to the card? Do you see these big hexagon type shapes? That's this. Oops, I'm off camera. So these, there we go. These are your dimensionals. And the tiny little round things that you might see on another um, uh, instruction booklet, those, if you have a round, tiny round circle, those are glue dots, but we don't have any glue dots in this kit, so everything is just dimensionals. So this should be pretty easy. Very excited. Very excited. This will be easy. I love it easy. So that looks like it's it. No, we have to put a flower on top. They want us to put another flower. Oh. There's already a flower on here. I guess they want us to do that so it is a 3D. Or am I putting this on the wrong side? Let's see. Um, well, it's on the right side. That's the right paper. Yeah. Okay. So you can, let's see if we're going to need that flower for a different card or if that's it. Let's see. Okay, this one. Different card. There's two cards that have flowers on them. That's one, and that's two, and then we have the nighttime ones. Okay. So, huh. For a minute there, I got a little bit confused. Um, so, you can leave it just like that if you want, or you can put one of these on top. The way I can tell is that there's a little shape here with some dimensionals, and this has extra leaf with some white edging around it, so that tells me it's going to be that piece, the little cardstock flower on top of the painted flower. And why do we do that? Because it adds a texture and a layer. You don't have to. You can leave it just like that if you want. Or you could put this flower over here, so you have two flowers. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it over to the side, so I have two flowers. There, see, it's easy to just make your own as you're going along. 
people who are following the directions or just follow the directions. Now we've got these little tiny guys here. Now let's see what those are. Those are the flowers. We've got smaller flowers here. So we're going to make this card have a slightly 3D effect by putting these on top of dimensionals right over these if we want to. Since this one is lifted, I'm going to go ahead and continue with my theme of having two flowers and put these guys over here. So I'm just taking a little flower, putting the dimensional right in the center. But then you just peel off the backing because the backing has a sticky part. And that part goes up here. And then we'll do the big one. And, whoops, I'm sorry you can't see me taking these off camera. So you just pull them off. It stuck to my finger. There we go. And I'll put one, let's see, one, two, three. Is that an extra one in there? Um, we only need we only need two of those. Okay. We might need this one for another card. I'll just put that aside. And put a dimensional on the big card. The big uh flower and put that on the card. There we go. Ta-da! There's your first card. And we also have matching envelopes. What a lot of people like to do, including me, is to try to find an envelope that matches, which it looks like it's this one. And, let's see. Yeah, I would say it's that one. Okay. And you can decorate it. So I think I'll put one of the little flowers here. And then you can always stamp on the envelope too. Put a little flower or a butterfly. And I think I'm going to take one of these little butterflies off here. And put it on the outside of the envelope. You could also put it on the inside of the card. If you don't want to follow directions exactly, you don't have to. If you do like to follow directions, then this is definitely a good kit for you. And even though that didn't come through all the way, that's my fault. I didn't press down on a flat surface, but I'm going to leave it like that. That's fine. And then I'm going to make sure I have coverage on the bottom of this butterfly. And I would like to put the butterfly here, right under here. My fault again. Why? I see what happened. Because I'm trying to stamp on top of the dimensional so it's not flat. Oh well. So, um, sometimes I get lucky and I can fix it. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So then it kind of coordinates as well on the inside and the outside. You could leave it like that and give it to someone so it would stand up like that. Or you could fold it and give it to them like that. Or have it fold this way. There's different ways to do things depending on what your preference is, and that is the beauty of the paper pumpkin. So I hope you enjoyed making this one card tonight. We will do some more later, and I will post some more cards as well as some alternative projects after I do some more research and look at the goodies in the box. And then we will do some more um, next Thursday. Thanks so much for joining me.
and this is a crafty chick saying thanks there we are thanks for joining me i'm so happy to be back and i will see you next thursday bye bye now take care happy crafting